We just talk like talkers. Yeah. This is the Bill Squire Show. That's what AJ and I were going to ask you for Christmas when we were going to do a Christmas episode. So. We are going to ask you if we could see our kids for real. Oh, <laughs> oh really? He's like, we did, did we talk about that? I thought we talked about it one night. We might have. I think it was the <laughs> night that I got real drunk. Know. Oh, <laughs> they, it might have been, yeah. yeah. But why would Plus, you remember, but you wouldn't I if you were the drunk one? We may yeah. have like talked about I it. I think it was, I, I mean, I it was never like anything that we're like, here's the plan. <laughs> yeah. It was like, you know what we should do? <laughs> we should ask Tommy if we can see your tits for Christmas. <laughs> and, yeah. But now Christmas is over. Yeah. No tits. Welcome back to the Bill Squire Show. Thanks, I, COVID. Yeah. We uh, went through some COVID times, and now we're on the other side of it. Hmm. I still never officially... Actually, Got had it. like a positive COVID test, but I have to have had it. Do you think so? I have to, like, I've been around all these people. We, I've been like, I haven't been careful. Dude, it, <laughs> I, I know it's raging. Yeah, like right now in the part of the world, yeah. w- the part of the country we're in right mm-hmm. now. But it slammed the comedy scene. Oh yeah, like every comic I know yeah. got it, and that's what I was saying. Like. But I was taking tests, but I maybe I was taking them wrong, and I just didn't get a positive. Neither test. Brandon or Miles it. got were yeah. tested positive either. So and, like I yeah. don't know, but I'm just gonna assume that you didn't get it. I'm invincible. Yeah, uh, I can't be stopped mm-hmm. except yeah. by you know <laughs> cancel culture. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe COVID can't cancel me, but the culture can't. Actually, yeah. even then, I got a pretty good safety net because of you know my trans. I raised her. Yeah. Him. Him. You piece of shit. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, canceled. I got it reversed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, it's funny. There are still. So one of my videos went very viral on TikTok. Yes. And it's the story of my son coming out to me mm. as transgender. Uh, and. So much positive feedback, so much. That's awesome. And there's, but there's still people that are like, "This is very transphobic." It's very, and yeah. but, there's always that. And are they trans people? I don't know. They're, Probably they're usually not. like. I have a feeling they're, 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 they're all, they always have a reason to do it, and I yeah. and I and I don't like. I'm like I'm not trying to be though. Right. Like you get that from the video, right? right. Like I'm not yeah. trying to be transphobic. There's just a lot of rules. Yeah, and the rules are always changing, and so I'm doing. This is the story, the way that I've told it on stage for years, mm-hmm. and it's I feel like very inclusive to my experience with my son, and it's about our relationship, and that's what it's really about. It's not even necessarily about him being trans. It's about him being comfortable enough to tell me who he is right. and me being yeah. like, yeah, I fucking know, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and completely diminishing that important thing he had to tell me. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I could have fucking told you that. <laughs> there are... I am. I don't give a fuck about being canceled, like at all. I am not afraid of it. That never crosses my mind. No, it doesn't cross my mind yeah. either. And it's just, it's just. I think it's a funny buzzword that people throw around. Like this cancel culture, st- uh, like. But it's 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 just people that are mad about things, and it's just, yeah. and it's always been there, and it's always gonna be there. It just it it takes different forms over the years because it used to be a very religious cancel culture type thing yeah. like we used to have that more in our society mm-hmm. where if some you know like the janet jackson thing that was cancel culture t- too like oh, that for was sure. yeah. like and that was but that was more what like janet jackson? janet jackson's nipple popping out at the super bowl she, janet, janet jackson was canceled oh yeah. people were mad no but i you know i know but her career took off after that no it didn't <laughs> what I really yeah no she, no she she was not able to do anything Really, Justin Timberlake was fine, oh. and there's, but uh, yeah, she mm. she was kind of. I've seen his yeah. nipples a million times. Oh, right, well, they're good nipples. Yeah, he's, but, got, he's got very nice, uh, <laughs> supple right. little dimes. Um, but <laughs> <I'm just> just... <laughs> it's it's one of those things where like, but also like, there's all those complaints and stuff like that, and the, the people that complain were religious people. It wasn't like nobody 
really but like really just people like i saw a nipple during the super bowl this is not okay i've seen her nipple why isn't she canceled because justin timberlake didn't Presented to us oh. at a Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah live TV. When it's, yeah, oh. live TV is the problem. People who were yeah. not mm-hmm. wanting it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And like even back in the day when people would write letters to TV networks, be like, this is ungodly. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah so, like, <laughs> Can you just, do that, that, the church lady, one more time? This is ungodly. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That, yeah. was, that, was, that was cute. I'm hey. trying to be cute. Yeah. The hair uh, looks great. Thank you. I've been working hard on the hair. It looks very What do you good. put in it? So, there's How a do few. You do a, give us Let me steps. give you a little hair tutorial from Bill Squire. So, the key is this little powder. And it's a uh, big, sexy hair. And it's like this powder. And so, you like, I, I get out of the shower. And also, good shampoo Red? and conditioner. Red? Yes. I used uh, to use the hair. What's it called? It's co- called Big Sexy Hair. Big Sexy Hair. And yeah, they have a bunch of different <clears throat> products. And the one that I like is this, like, powder that just kind of makes it stay up but not get, like, hard or anything right. like that. It just, it's like a volumizing powder. Okay. And so, the, it, it starts with the shampoo and conditioner. Mm-hmm. So, I got some volumizing shampoo and conditioner. Okay. So that's why my hair is so loud because the volume's turned way the fuck up on my hair right now. <laughs> yeah. And then I was just like, your your hair is making the levels peak. Yeah, right. That show. That's how loud it is. Yeah, I know. I want to surf yeah. on your head. Yeah, you, you mm. son of a bitch. <laughs> Hang ten, motherfucker. Uh, so yeah, so it starts with the the shampoo and conditioner, uh, and then as reading i'm like there's there's instructions on the shampoo who needs instructions for shampoo and then i read the instructions i was like oh i've been shampooing my hair wrong for a long time how wait how what (laughs) What are the instructions uh it's to yeah you put it in you get you know you get your hair wet first obviously but the the uh the instructions say to like Massage it in, and then and I and which I, I have been doing. Yeah, what were you doing yeah, before? You were <laughs> squirting it in his butt hole. But no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why would like, my hair get clean? I know it's like I, I'm drinking it. <laughs> it's not doing nothing to my but hair. The the thing that I wasn't doing was letting it sit for a little bit. Oh, you would just like rub it in. And then I would like rub it on like like all at once. Like it was all like one motion. <laughs> And so I was like, oh, look, I've, I, if I actually leave the shampoo in for a ridiculous. moment, uh-huh. and same with the conditioner, it makes a huge difference. Now, I haven't gotten to the point where I'm repeating yet, because the shampoo says that's, you that's do all too that. Much time. And then you say repeat. It's like, well, repeat. I think that's okay, just, I, I, think, I think that's just uh, them trying to I repeat. sell to more sell shampoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I repeat. You repeat? I repeat. Yeah, you can tell them. You have good, yeah, you you. Have good hair. That's you. A good, good hair on this I podcast. I get compliments. I get compliments yeah. on my hair. It's good hair. Sometimes. Uh, I've, yeah, I've been... I've been you have nice so, hair, too. So then, yeah, then I blow dry it. Like, I dry towel dry it, then I blow dry it back, and then I use the volumizing powder and then a little bit of paste to make sure that it, like, in the front doesn't get, like, little baby hairs. Mm-hmm. Wait, so, so uh, the powder, you put it in when it's wet and you let it dry? No, no, you put it in when it's, like, just kind of damp. Okay. And then you kind of, like, go and, like, rub it in. You just massage and it. You, and just, it you powder yeah, the hair. And you the, powder the hair, and then you, then you get a nice little... Wow. A nice little thing. Oh, my God, Bill. Yeah. And you're getting a little gray on the sides, too. Oh, I've had the gray on the sides for a I long know, time. But I know, I know, I know. I've started noticing <laughs> yeah. it more in the last, like, <laughs> year or two. Sorry, but that's um, a good one. That's a good one. I couldn't. Hold that's it. our catchphrase. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who that? needs to see your tits when you get to hear but, her burp? But when I first met you, you didn't have it. No, no, yeah. it's definitely coming. Like, I like well, it. like it's I've been, been a very stressful few years. Yeah, I've good. been uh, posting a lot of like older videos too. Like, like there's one from a comedy special that I recorded myself like in 2012, and there's not a spot. Like my hair is just. Dark. It's just dark, it's just dark, yeah. and now it's all salt and pepper, and oh my yeah. Gosh. But I mean, it was, it's been ten years, so what do you expect? Yeah. Ten plus years. I think that was 2011 when that mm. filmed. So, mm. yeah, time. getting old. I've been doing things a long time. Yeah, very long. How time. was COVID for you? Oh hell, was oh, it bad? Yeah, yeah, you had it bad. Yeah, I had every single symptom except like the loss of taste and smell. Mm-hmm. I took that one from you. 
Yeah. Is yeah. that that was all that you was had? All had. Yeah. That was all I had. Yeah. You got yeah. the rest of it. But I didn't you, even know. But you had loss of taste and smell for a while. Though. A long time. I, I like people I, with month like months. Yeah. There are I, there are still some things I can't smell. Like oh, I could really? put a, like I could smell some things, but mm-hmm. I can't smell other things. It's weird. I can't smell bad smells. That's good. Cool. Oh. Which is kind of not like yeah. I, I was taking I was taking a a, a, a poop. Uh huh. Uh, uh, over big nasty there, dump, a big, yeah. a big, a big old hot uh, crap. Uh, we'll come back to my dump story, but I got a okay. fucking dump story. And you saved people, apparently. I got all yeah. sorts of things. Yeah, you got going a on. lot yeah. of things yeah. that happened. Catch but, up. Yeah. yeah, so I, I I took a hot steamy crap crapola, mm-hmm. and I couldn't smell it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, there's no way this doesn't stink. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way it doesn't, but I couldn't smell it. But like, I could smell like deodorant. I could mm-hmm. smell like my toothpaste. I'm cleaning. Now, out did anybody else smell it? I was alone in the oh, house. Oh, see then. So maybe it didn't stink. Like, yeah, maybe. Well, no, but but I'm like I'm like cleaning out you my cat's litter it. box. Oh, can't, can't smell, smell it. Mm. Can't I smell it. I thought there was a point in time that I lost my taste, but I think I was just high. Like oh. I was like watching TV, and I'm like, can I taste this or can I not <laughs> taste this? And then I just got really mm. yeah too. Con- mm, no, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I didn't I, know there were so- stomach side effects or yeah, some yeah yeah that's yeah, yeah you, people, you can get some Maria, people, yeah I didn't know that yeah. I had it all oh my god yeah. she took so a big bad. old crap too yeah, yeah. we we're, all did we're I took, a, with I took our like anuses. a nine pounder <laughs> I swear to God because I would weigh myself like I weighed myself before <laughs> and I weighed myself after and you because there was so the, I'm telling you <laughs> you uh, didn't lose that my 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 scale that's what my scale is telling me so. Like it, there, was, there was scale. <laughs> I maybe it misread the the first reading, what? but man, it felt so good. I'm gonna be honest it, with you. It like, was just so much water, though. <laughs> Even if it wasn't really nine pounds, it was just a big watery dump, but still lots of fiber in there too. Nine, nine pounds of water. Yeah. No, because like literally, I've known you for a, a yeah. long time now. I've seen you eat like two times, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like we had pizza here one day. Yeah. And maybe another time is somewhere else. Like I, I was actually thinking, I was like, I've never seen Bill eat food. No, I eat food. I, eat. I, 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 I just smashed it. some Arby's. Did you? Yeah, which oh. I, I'm not super proud of eating that, but it's just like <laughs> I wanted to have something before because like today was a lifting day, and on lifting days I just get really fucking hungry. Mm-hmm. Do you know how long it took me to realize that the logo is a little hat, like a ten gallon hat at our piece? Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> what What'd you think it was? I, I just like a stupid little mm-hmm. squiggle. You're just a squiggle. Yeah, yeah you know, Arby's with the squiggle. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, it's a squiggly. I think that's something I figured out as a child, but mm-hmm. it's definitely like it took me a while as a child. The one that always fucked me up was the Disney, the D yes. in Disney, because yeah. I always thought it was a G. Me too. Yeah. I'm like, what the f- Disney? What? Yeah, what's Disney? <laughs> what's Disney? Disney. Disney. Disney makes you pay. Disney. <laughs> all right, you want to hear my story about how I saved? Yeah, you saved a bunch of people. I mean, not even. All right, I may have embellished a little bit. Okay. So here's what happened, and I told this story on the Alan Cox show, but I want to still tell it here because I'm going to get into a little more detail. So, I uh, went to a Cavs game with. Uh, pants and we brought two girls and I'll be honest Ooh. they were hot nice. yeah okay uh, so did and you do, do any fornicating no, no not even right. close <laughs> <laughs> oh, they right. made sure that we knew they were nice. not interested in us in a sexual way whatsoever <laughs> all right yeah yeah, yeah. like total fucking. babes <laughs> <laughs> Boundaries were yes, drawn like, and there's respected. No, there's nothing sexier than respecting other people. Yeah. And their That's wants and desires or lack thereof. Right. <laughs> so anyway, we go to the Cavs game as we're le- it's like a night when they won by like fifty. Yeah. So we left halfway through the fourth quarter, like with three minutes left or whatever. A lot of people were leaving at that time. And we didn't want to call it a night yet, so we we're like, let's go get a drink somewhere. We're headed to East 4th, and when we're walking down towards East 4th, some dude is going the wrong way through the valet. Whoa. Yeah. He's going the wrong way, and he's going fast. He's going like 30 miles per hour through the valet. People are screaming at him. Pants puts his hand out like he's fucking Neo, and he's like, hold on. You're not going anywhere. And the guy actually stops because he wasn't, but he was drunk. And then he like tries to go the wrong way on East 4th because there's all those barriers there. Right. He almost hits those barriers, almost hits more people, and like people are screaming at him. I'm screaming at him, and uh, so I had a bucket of popcorn with me. 
I noticed that this guy's <laughs> drunk because one of the girls wanted popcorn, so I, I was carrying it. Okay. All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Excited. Yeah. And listen, she paid for it. So. <laughs> oh. Right. Yeah. Right she was on. the one that was eating, and I was just happened to be the one carrying it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when he was like stopped in front of those barriers, he had his window down. And I took a big old handful of popcorn because he was drunk. He needed to sober up. And I shared a big handful of popcorn into his window. Oh. <laughs> you so you save people by throwing popcorn at a guy driving a car. Yeah. All right. To stop yeah. him from driving the car. Oh. Because he was drunk and he was going to hurt people. Oh, right. Now, it was already stopped, but yeah. But why did you think the popcorn was going to make him stop? I, because he'd be startled? <laughs> no. <laughs> he was, oh, my God, the popcorn <laughs> monster. He was, he was already stopped. I was just throwing popcorn at him because he was an asshole. Okay. Because he deserved popcorn to be thrown at him yeah. because he almost ran people over. So you didn't really save anyone. <laughs> It sounded. Just, it sounds to me just, like Pants was the one that was like, the stop! Well, the story's not over yet, and you might still have that opinion when the story's <laughs> okay, done. Fine, fine. Uh, so then... He gets out of his car, and it looks like he's going to, like, grab a gun or something because he's kind of, like, going like this. Uh, but turns out he was just so drunk that he got tangled in his own seatbelt. <laughs> and he was mad at me for sharing popcorn with him. I guess he's allergic to popcorn or something. I don't know. Mm. And he didn't like the delivery system. Who knows why he gets so upset with me throwing a handful of popcorn <laughs> directly into his car. Maybe he's allergic. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't see it. Yeah. And uh, he starts running at me. And I'm just walking down East Ford like I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing that concerns me. Yeah. When, when you do things like this. Yeah. You have said publicly and openly you're not much of a fighter. Right. <laughs> so what, what happens when this guy attacks you? Are you going to... Well, Just let's keep out. going. Okay. So he runs towards me, and as he's running towards me, uh, he runs past Pants, and Pants just gives him a little shove, and the guy <laughs> flops down, <laughs> hits the ground. If Pants wasn't there. But I, <laughs> I'm i still confident that I could have knocked this guy down, too. Okay. He was okay. pretty drunk. Okay. Like, and, I, was, and you... I was drinking, but I wasn't, like, as drunk as this dude. Also, okay. not driving a car. Right. So, right. you know, I had people dude, on my side. You were just not getting laid by two total <laughs> That's bands. right, yeah. yeah. But they were hanging out with us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of which didn't even know what had happened. Like, what we had to explain to her, because she was pretty drunk. Oh, really? <laughs> she, they, they had been drinking all day. And, like, she, she missed... Pants pushing the guy down. She missed the popcorn. She missed everything because she was just in her own world. Uh, She's like, why are we going back this way? Like, because there's a guy. And she's like, oh, I thought he just got out of the car and was yelling at you guys. And we're like, no, no, no. We threw popcorn at him and pushed him down and did all this stuff. She's like, oh, okay. Uh, So he is rolling around on the ground. And uh, Pants, like, puts his dukes up, like, fucking ready to go. I go up next to Pants. If I have to fight, I'm going to fight. I don't <laughs> want to, but I could. If I was, a, if he pushed him down, I would have hopped on top of him and started wailing on him. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I See, I, I, I'm I, very... I, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not going to do that because of who I am. Like, I'm very mm-hmm. recognizable. <laughs> to, like, to do the you, boy, like, do where, you know who I am? Yeah, this like, not like that, but like... <laughs> Someone will know, and someone will put it in a well, video, yeah. and then it'll be. I'll get tagged, you, you, and I'll get everyone newspaper in articles. Everyone in Ohio saw that yeah. mug shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. So it's like I people don't it. act like they don't know to, who I am until the mug shots out, and they're like, "Oh, everyone's got an opinion about Bill Squire now." I do what you I can. You can't get canceled. You have a trans son, though. So uh, like, you're I fine. I, yeah, you're but I couldn't fine. get. I can get fired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah. Very true, very true. I um. I'm, I do everything I can to not get into it, uh-huh. but when that happens, I do everything I can to embrace it. Yeah, I'm like we're, we're, you, now we're in you, it because you got that rage. You kind of have oh, the rage. I, oh my god! Yeah. Well, oh oh my god! It's yeah. so awesome, and it's just right there I, at the I, no, surface. No, huh? I get like bloodthirsty. Yeah, I believe it. Like when I, it comes down, I'm just like, yeah. oh yeah, I don't have yes. this. I just wanted to make sure nobody's gonna get more hurt. Right, and so. This guy's then like coming at us, but not really. <laughs> like, if that makes sense, like he was like looking for people to get between us because say what you want, but like I'm a big guy, pants is a big guy. Like, 
he was shorter than us, probably fatter than us. Like he's he he wasn't he wasn't in a good matchup situation yeah. there. Yeah. And I think he started to realize that when he was coming at us. And then uh, this lady in her full Best Buy uniform breaks up the the whole situation. She's like telling this guy to get in his car. And she's like, you guys just go that way. Just go that way. And so we go the other way down East Who Forest. was this that came back? Just some lady. Just some woman? Just some lady in her Best Buy uniform, mm. which was hilarious because awesome. the there's no lady. Best Buy downtown. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> there's <laughs> like, what is she doing? <laughs> there's none there. Yeah. Mm. I just, so it was very funny. Oh, wow. So they go, he he gets back in his car, which I didn't love. That's not a good idea. No, yeah. no. Uh, no they were like well, what was he going to do? Well, I just. Just stand there? I don't know, but not drink and drive. Yeah, so we're up. Yeah, just but yeah. he's gonna leave his car on East. Fort well, he he where it was. No, I mean, not, but he he shouldn't have been driving. So I don't know, and uh, <clears throat> and then someone called in to the radio show and said that they saw this all happening. They didn't see like everything that went on with me, but they saw the guy like come through and said that uh, the guy was yelling because he lives in one of those buildings over there, and he's like, I'm just trying to drop off my groceries. <laughs> but he was, like, so drunk. Like, so... That's so funny. <laughs> but, like, that kind of, like, rage. Be like, I just... I got groceries. I gotta get these groceries in the house. So, oh, the, the last the last fight I got into, I was, like, 20, 25. Uh-huh. So, it's a good seven years. Yeah. I have not been in a fight since I've been an adult. Oh, Me neither. Okay. Yeah. So it, it was this guy. It was a, a buddy of mine's brother. He mm-hmm. was just being a, like a drunk asshole, and I was just like, "Dude, like stop!" And he was like, "No." I'm like, "All right." And then he punched me in the face, uh-huh. and then I like grabbed him. And I'm like, "Boom!" <laughs> under the ground, and I got on top of him. I punched him in the face, and the back of his head hit the concrete. Ooh. I thought I killed him. Ooh. Yeah, I, he was like, and I'm afraid Ugh. of that too. Yeah. Yeah. Another reason right. why I don't like to get physical because I don't want to accidentally kill somebody. Yeah. I don't want anybody to accidentally kill me. Like I don't, I because it it happens. I have yeah. complete yeah. utter disregard for humans. <laughs> yeah, <we, laughs> <laughs> so I've been um, I've been using this product. It's called Big Sexy Hair. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like this powder. Ooh. Yeah. And you like it, you put it in when it's like kind of damp, and you mm-hmm. just kind of like rub it in. I mm-hmm. think I can see chunks of the powder in your hair. Yeah, right? I, I really? don't know if you rubbed it all the way in. Yeah. I don't know. I think I might. There's have also some other stuff. Mm, yeah. would, like what? I, I would I would describe it as debris. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's very nesty. Yeah. Oh my god! I think I know why. Why? Because I was hanging out on East Fourth. <laughs> oh, is it popcorn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like really drunk, and I was driving Dang. the wrong way. Oh, I, I don't like people. drunk drivers. And some, and some fucker with great hair <laughs> got real mad at yeah. me, and he threw popcorn at me. And I got out of my car, and this friend mm-hmm. pushed me on the ground. That's rude. Mm-hmm. I know, and there were like these two hotties that weren't gonna fuck them. <laughs> were they Just gonna fuck? You didn't know that. <laughs> He could tell. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Everyone could tell. They were wearing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we talk about Spider Man? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why have you not seen it? No, I no I you have. have. Yeah. No, I yeah, have. Yeah. But spoiler this all. It's been out but, for three weeks. Yeah, no, it's, been, it's, it's been out. Like, it's yeah. been out. No, if you Spoil, haven't seen spoiler it, alert, this is our spoiler alert. We're going alert. deep on Spider Man. Spoiler now. alert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Burp for the spoiler alert. I can't burp right now. Oh, I can't just. I she mean, can't I can't do it on I, demand. I can, but. Okay. Bah. Yeah. There you go. There spoiler. Go. Right. Go. Spoiler burp. Uh, so, Spider Man was just. Can you take the wig off, please? <laughs> what wig are you talking about? Are you talking about my big sexy yes, hair? Yes, can you take yeah. your big sexy hair off, please? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, uh, this is my hair now. Maybe, can Tommy help you? Maybe. No, I'm taking off. Uh, um, you really love that wig. It's right there. <laughs> like it's, it's been it there for two him. years. That's where you I haven't keep it. moved it, and then you get mad at me for for one like twice every six months. I'm Put not mad at head. you. No, you look at me with these eyes. You're like, like we well, take, take it, take it off, like take off the wig. Dip. Well, when you walked, the in, you when walked in during the break, you're like, oh god, he's wearing the wig again. <laughs> I just don't why no know why you can't resist the wig. It's right here. There's Throw other things. Away. I don't want to. Wait, <laughs> what if I need place? it? What if I need it? <laughs> you, what are, when, are, when are you going to need this? 
I don't know. I've used what this more since you have. His Thor uh, costume. My fat Thor costume. He was oh, fat yeah, Thor yeah, yeah. from yeah. Avengers. We, yeah. Which is a good uh, is transition yeah. into what we're talking Spider-Man. about. Spider-Man. Which, probably a top, I, I might say top three That's MCU movie. I think 100%. it's the best they've ever been. You think it's the I best. Loved it. yeah. I love it too, but I, I can't, just because, like, Infinity mm-hmm. War and, is yeah. my favorite, and then... Captain America Winter Soldier is just like awesome such a, f- a good film. I'm going to explain why it's the best one. All right, so explain it. Because remember the last time I did this, you were like, wow. Yeah. When I did this with the Marvel, I forget which one it was. Okay. There's. I think it was, think it was Eternals. Probably Eternals. No. Yeah, I, you said you explained why Eternals is the best MCU. Oh, uh, right, right. No. This is the best one so far. Because none of the movies so far have really gotten, really captured the essence of Peter Parker, Mm -hmm. of who he really is. Now you're saying this is the best MCU movie. Yes. Okay, not the best Spider-Man movie, but the best MCU. Overall, this is the best MCU movie. I'm going to tell you why. All right. Um, For for a couple of reasons. One, I'm going to start off with with, with the the basic one. You don't realize how much you love Aunt May. Yeah. Yeah. Until you see her get it. Because you never really think about Aunt May. Right. Yeah. But oh, Aunt, Aunt May is Peter Parker's conscience. Mm-hmm. Always has been. Right. Peter is the man that she raised, or the boy, yeah. Spider Man. From a boy to a man. I know. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 the only one that kind of comes close is Alfred. Yeah. From Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even Batman, like Alfred tells him no. Peter listens. Like he mm-hmm. always does the right thing. Right. That that's the easy thing out of the way. Um, two, seeing Tobey Maguire come back as Spider-Man, um, reminded you why he was such a great Peter Parker. He was just so sweet Mm -hmm. and so nice and so kind and helpful. And Andrew Garfield stole the show. It was uh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, I mean, they, but they, all of them together. And I think we were texting about this. Like I could watch a movie of them just. Yeah. Finding out about each other's lives and reacting to it. Yeah. Like, I could watch an entire movie of that just being like, oh, you went to the Washington D.C. And, and like, you were locked in a, like, just, Literally like, just telling the, yeah. things right. in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Their chemistry yeah. is just amazing, obviously. Yeah. I mean, Whereas Endgame and Infinity War, that was spectacle. Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. Like, that was, like, no, no, there was substance. Endgame was about... <laughs> Was about at the end of the day, yeah. going back and being able to say the things you never got to say. But Infinity War was about like loss on a very big, loss large on a level, ma- a, a massive, massive, level. massive level. But even before that, like I mean, losing Gamora and like even sure. just in in, yeah. in the villain that is Thanos in that movie, he's not this over the top. Like sinister asshole, like he he's almost sympathetic in his quest for these, uh, for for the Infinity Stones to to accomplish his like he's he's weathered like he's been through it for sure. So like mm-hmm. when he gets them all, you're like, oh, this is bad. But hey, he he he, he, he got did. his goal. <laughs> but where, whereas Endgame was about going back mm-hmm. and being able to say the things you never got to say. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you should have with like right. Tony and his dad, right. Thor yeah. and his mom. Yeah. Um, Hawkeye and Widow, Black Widow, like really saying and being there for each other. Right. This one was about writing past wrongs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like Tobey Maguire oh killing gosh, yeah. Willem Dafoe in the first one, and yeah. and 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 Andrew Garfield Save being him. able Let's to save yeah. MJ. Oh, yeah, God. which which was uh, uh, beautiful. Ball. It was it was beautiful. So it, you saw you guys saw it the first night. Yeah. I saw it on Friday. And it was like a packed theater of people that wanted to be there that were like the the top 1%, I would say, of Spider-Man fans Mm -hmm. went the first 24 hours to see it. And then I saw it again on Sunday, and I was really bummed out by the lack of reaction by the audience. Like, there was some reaction... But it wasn't like that first by day. Sunday. By, yeah. by the time Sunday rolls around, yeah. everybody it's the second time everybody's seen yeah. it. No, but I think it's really? a lot of people's first time, but they're not the people that are affected so by... So invested, yeah. They don't remember all the references. Mm-hmm. So like when Andrew Garfield saves MJ, that's such a big moment to people that are familiar with, with the, the Andrew past Gar- movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. but like, there's a lot of people that, that didn't, didn't even know it. that that was... A significant moment. Um, Andrew Garfield uh, 
was the best. Dude. In it. Like he was so good. He was and because, just so because I, I think it was his redo at being the Peter Parker that he knew he could be the whole right. time. And just the little yeah. Easter eggs. Like yeah. you didn't get them as much in the other ones. Yeah. Like the fact that everyone always said Toby Maguire was a great Peter Parker and yeah. a, a bad the, Spider Man. Yeah. They played on what yeah. the I know was, and, and what was good, what was bad about it. it yeah. was, I mean For yeah. sure, but even deeper than that, something I don't know if you guys caught, but they always said that Toby Maguire was a great Peter Parker and a bad Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Andrew Garfield was a great Spider Man yes. and a bad yeah. Peter, Peter Parker. Parker. When they They're revealed, bonding. when they revealed, Toby Maguire is wearing street clothes most of the time as mm-hmm. Peter Parker, yep. and mm-hmm. the entire time you see Andrew Garfield, he's wearing mm-hmm. a Spider Man costume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The entire time, right. and Tom Holland is just the best of them all. I, yeah, right, I he's agree. the best Peter Parker um, best because Spider-Man. I buy it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas the other two, I didn't buy them for one reason or another. I mean, they all are Spider Man in their own, but like in that, but that's why it's so nice seeing them like tie the universes together and have it be something so unique and like you get to accentuate their strengths and, and kind of give them a redo to be you know to to make up for those shortcomings mm-hmm. because let's be honest any one of those guys could have been a, a Spider-Man for decades what what it comes down to is you need good writing and good directing mm-hmm. and and the fact that like and when the studio Oversteps or fucks things up, you get, you have to do things like fix Electro, or yeah. you get Spider Man Three where they put Venom in it when Sam Raimi never wanted to put Venom in it. Like I imagine, if that movie is just Sandman and uh, Harry as the bad guys, I think it's a very different, much better movie. It is, mm-hmm. but, I think so too. Um, and the other thing, Willem Dafoe. Dude, Willem he's Dafoe. So- yeah. No, nobody played a better villain in any of the MCU movies. Like Willem Dafoe, just his ability to to be sweet mm-hmm. and awesome, and then just be treacherous. It's terrifying. And the next second, yeah. it's horrifying. It, yeah, and like borderline pathetic, but but then yeah, just immediately, just instantly heinous. Mm-hmm. Turn it on, and it, then you're like, this is the worst person on the planet. I and know, it's so so good. And he, he but even uh, like Doc Ock. I mean, Alfred just, Molina. Alfred, Alfred Molina. Like the, the the actors that they have to be these villain villains, and even you know, Hayden Christensen and Thomas or Thomas Thomas Hayden, Hayden Church. Church. Yeah, Thomas Hayden Church, and uh, who's Jamie, a national treasure. Yeah, and <laughs> that guy's Jamie, amazing. Jamie Foxx. Like you, these are really really talented actors, and the one thing that the MCU understands is when you have good talent. Let them show it, yeah. rather yeah. than just putting them into these fight scenes that are over the top monstrosity. Let the let the guys flex their muscles because Alfred Molina was fantastic and he was funny and like it was just, amazing and, and like all of them were. And and the fact like it, it was such a great scene when Willem Dafoe smashed the mask. Yeah, Dude, because yeah. because I mean they obviously mm-hmm. because. It's, you're not going to put an actor of that caliber mm-hmm. in a green mask. Yeah. Right. Like, Willem Dafoe is just so good. And I don't think anybody, for those one off, because you know how, like, every Marvel movie mm-hmm. has, like, a one off actor right. that mm-hmm. plays a villain. Like, we had Jeff Bridges as yeah. a one off. Robert Redford was yeah. great in The Winter Soldier. Absolutely. I mean, he was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Nobody did it better than Willem Dafoe did mm-hmm. in this one. Yeah. Um, it was it was so good. It was just a complete movie. I was engaged the entire time. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, and it didn't feel as long as it no. Was. It, it was it long. Was, yeah, it was a long and then movie, even but it moves. Ending, even right. the ending when when Peter like even though that's the thing about Spider Man is Spider Man is the most tortured out of all of the heroes in the sense that like okay like Tony Stark is tortured right like he's an alcoholic Tony's tortured Thor's tortured they all have their cross to bear right mm-hmm. but yeah. they they've all have done suspect things in mm-hmm. the past like Tony was a literal merchant of death yeah Spider-Man's a child Spider-Man is a kid yeah, yeah. He's a child. and he has to go through all of these terrible things mm-hmm. but he willingly does it because he knows it's the right thing mm-hmm. to do yeah and it that's the thing that hurts so bad cuz you're watching even strange was just like I know that the spell's dangerous, but he's a kid. He's yeah. been through like enough. Yeah. He's been in space fighting aliens <laughs> yeah. while going to high school. And they did a great job. Like the whole showdown with Doctor Strange is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And and then also just the supporting cast of Zendaya and uh 
what's uh, his name? Ned. Ned. But what's yeah. his I, Jacob his something? I can't remember. Yeah, but Ned. I, I th- like, they, they, were, they were great. They were they were like very good in this movie. To me, he's the weakest link out of all because I don't think he's a great actor. There are things but that I don't he's buy. So fun. But he's, he's so fun. Yeah, he's he's fun. fun. And like I said, there are things that like I don't criticize anyone who says that any of the Marvel movies are terrible and unwatchable. They're just being an asshole. Right. They're just being an asshole. I don't yeah, take hold that, him. Martin Scorsese. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. All of his movies take place in the Italians being dicks cinematic universe. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> They're all the same fucking yeah. movie. Like every single one, it's just like, yeah, forget about the it. The IBCU, I believe. Yeah, right. Um, oh, IBC, IBDCU. Yeah. No, all right, yeah. I don't know letters. Whatever. I'm no. not that smart. All right. <laughs> Italians being dicks. Cinematic, Cinematic universe. So IBDCU. Yeah. IBDCU. Yeah. So uh, they, these movies don't hold themselves like accountable mm-hmm. for their sins. Like, and nor should we. Like, okay, magic. You could just, well, why did that happen? Magic. Magic, yeah. It's magic. <laughs> time travel. It's yeah. fucking magic. Like, yeah. time to the well, past anyway, to the future, scientifically plausible. But Right. But, but yeah, there's definitely uh, suspending disbelief to, right. to tell these stories, which, you know, you, you ha- have to do going in. And then, like, enjoy it. Like, mm-hmm. like it's all you have to fucking do. You this just isn't... have to go, okay, yes, I know if Tony Stark and... Captain uh, America were really trying to fix a propeller on a giant aircraft carrier. It'd probably be a little loud, and they right. wouldn't be able to communicate. And you wouldn't be able to talk to each other. But that's a shitty movie, right? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> like exactly. Like yeah. these these things are spectacle. Yeah. They're escapism. Mm-hmm. Like fucking. But these, you're watching a superhero movie. Right? Like I think yeah. you'll be okay but, without right, the fucking extra that, sounds. I grew up watching these cartoons. Yeah. And it's Read amazing. Comics, yeah. mm-hmm. It's amazing that what what they're what the, it's amazing. Yeah. Like that's all I, I can say. Well, and that's it's it's, incredible. And it what's so frustrating is seeing them do it so well, yeah. and then seeing DC just continually so fuck, much fuck it up. up. I'm a, because, excited about Batman though. Well, that? I'm gonna tell. I said I'm really excited about the Batman though. Yeah, the yeah, Batman. Yeah, the Batman looks awesome. And I heard Pattinson. the Peacemaker. It's really good. I heard Peacemaker's like fucking the yeah. best thing they've done. I haven't seen really? it. Yeah. Um, okay, so you saw I, Suicide Squad though, right? I have. Okay, I saw it since we've talked about it last time. Peacemaker comes Did out you like it? next I loved, week. I it loved was it. Good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I can tell you exactly why DC fails. Yeah, and Marvel they, succeeds. It's, it's because be- they have a plan. Well, no, it's not even that. It's the heroes aren't interesting when they're not fighting. When Batman... No, Batman's incredibly interesting. No, no. Bruce Wayne is not interesting. Absolutely he is. He's not. He, he's a fucking sad guy that walks around being sad. Tony Stark is interesting. I wouldn't watch a movie of Bruce Wayne. I wouldn't watch a Bruce Wayne movie. I would watch a Tony Stark movie, and we did. Iron Man 3, for as not great as it was. I loved it. It, it was fine. I loved it. Was it was good, but I, it was... People hate that movie. I loved it. It was, it, it was Tony Stark. It's so much Stark. Tony Stark. It's yeah. so much Tony Stark. Yeah. I would watch that movie. I wouldn't watch Bruce Wayne do the same thing. I Clark would. I Kent would. is not interesting. Uh, see, I think it's... If you are just looking at the cinematic versions of them, I don't think they've ever done a completely perfect Batman movie. And I'm hoping that this one, I, because I, ba- because Bruce yeah. Wayne is interesting because he's, he isn't just this sad guy. He's an angry guy and he they is just yet to get it on yeah. screen. Right. And, to be able to compare. And but he's not, he's not just angry though. Like he's, he oh, likes what he does. Yeah. So yeah. Like, <laughs> he, he takes, he's a little bit sadistic, but he's not charming. Whereas the yeah. Joker is charming, but that's what I'm saying. Like you can, but you he doesn't have to be charming. The villains, the villains in the DC universe are way more interesting than the heroes. Well, the Flash is very charming, in, like, he is. But and, even, and Clark Kent's very charming, and like in his own like when, and again, like if you go back to like the Christopher Reeves Superman movie, the way that he played Clark Kent is the best that's ever been played. Yeah, where but he it's... plays him as like. But a even when doofus. I'm watching that, I'm just like, let's get to the Superman stuff. Yeah, but that's also, again, I think that's a failure on the writing because I, I think it is, inter- I think those characters are interesting. I don't think they're putting the the big screen version on them because if, especially, uh, like, if you've read, like, the Frank Miller Batman stuff, have you read any of that? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. dark, but... You, it's dark, but he's interesting. I think he's very interesting. No, for sure, but that's not, the, the, the Frank Miller stuff is so new 
compared to all the other Batman content we got before the Frank Miller stuff. Right, but it also... We had decades of Batman before the Frank Miller stuff. We had decades of all these guys before they got... Like, the Winter Soldier has only been around for, like, 15 years. No, I I get that, but Bucky hasn't been. Right. Bucky's interesting. I'm going to show you why. Bucky's only interesting when he becomes the Winter Soldier. But... that's not necessarily, I disagree. I think Bucky, I think his camaraderie with Cap was well, always interesting. It, that's interesting, but that like. That relationship's but, interesting. But like, then he he dies of old age. <laughs> like, or whatever. Right, like, okay. Yeah. So, so a or casual he, he person, dies, yeah. somebody who doesn't know much about superheroes, who is only a casual fan of superheroes, mm-hmm. most of us know how Bucky and Cap yeah. came to be. Mm-hmm. How did, mo- most people couldn't tell you how Dick Grayson and Bruce Wayne became partners. Which most people that? couldn't. And I think the issue is Marvel follows the comics where DC just tries to do their own shit. shit. And that's where the issue lies is I think they are, like Bill's saying, interesting, but we haven't gotten that on screen to be able to compare cinematic universe. You have people that are trying to to put their own spin on it. So like Zack Snyder wanted to reinvent Superman and like he even in Batman and Superman he pulled he pulled a lot (laughs) from some very like good, like good source material, but they did it too fast. But I think they, they always do it too they, fast. They always too. do it too fast. Yeah. They're always playing catch up, and that's they're not they're not taking the time to establish these characters because I think there are a lot like because I they, mean the Flash is a great great character, uh, and again the Green Lantern is a great. They character. should have all yeah, had Lantern. solo films. They should have all had yeah. They should have taken their yeah. time, do the solo films, get the right directors, have one guy overseeing it all, like the MCU has. With Feige and and let it unfold. Like honestly, the, the guy that they should have do the DC it should be movies, Kev- Kevin Smith. It should mm-hmm. be Kevin Smith. It absolutely. I, I'm glad be. that yeah. that yeah. we yeah, we agree. came to that same yeah. spot. But you see, I think even Marvel backs me on what I'm saying about character. Like you have to be interesting out of the suit mm-hmm. because they recognized, like, arguably, probably he's my favorite one of them all. But the weakest of all the MCU films is the Incredible Hulk. Mm-hmm. Bruce Banner is not interesting. He's boring, and no one cares. No one cares about the, the Incredible Hulk when he's not the Hulk. Like I no agree, one gives a fuck I, about Bruce Banner. I, I disagree with that because I think in there are movies that they found ways to like in Avengers where he when he shows up as Mark Ruffalo for the first time. That's that he's interesting there when he's doing good stuff and he's he works and he's, as a supporting character. He yeah, can't, okay, he can't, yeah, he can't carry, carry a movie. He can't carry a movie. Yeah, yeah I'll give you that. Um, I'll give you that. Thor, it, it was kind of a problem too. Like those first two Thor movies are weak. Yeah, they're medium. because yeah. Thor isn't that interesting when he's mm-hmm. not fighting. Fucking Taika Waititi comes on. He's like, "What well, does make him funny?" Yeah, it was like, making money. like that's not Thor. Yeah, in the comics, no. but they knew like they're just like okay, this is one of the six. Like right. this is one of mm-hmm. our like flagship. Well, like, but, blue but what chip also Ty- what Taiko also did was he's he brought some of the he balanced that uh, comedy with a lot more dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there's For a sure. lot more dramatic, and so you and then you see that in Infinity War and Endgame where Thor's scenes are some of the funniest, but they're also some of the saddest. They are the saddest. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. when when he really lays out what he's been through, you're like, oh man, Thor has had it fucking rough. And that's why that's why Spider-Man is so, Peter Parker's character is more like Thor has ravaged and laid yeah. waste to places. He's done bad things. Bad things, yeah. Tony Stark has done bad things. Mm-hmm. Cap didn't really get the opportunity to do bad things. He's God's righteous man. But Black but, Widow and Hawkeye have. But Cap, here's here's why Cap has done bad things because Cap is always looking for a fight. Yeah, so, that's true. So yeah. that, yeah. that and that's why he's not worthy until Endgame. The whole Mjolnir. No, he because, he was worthy. He was worthy. He was able to pick it up in Ultron. He just didn't. Pick no, it up he, in Ultron. He, no, he, he was wiggling it. He wasn't. He wasn't worthy then. You don't think that he was like. Just doing it just to no. He wasn't worthy. <laughs> just to not embarrass Thor. No, he was. He wasn't worthy because he he had to. He had more stuff to go through. And, well, well, I think I think Cap and, standing and, there with the broken shield, yeah. walking alone yeah. towards Thanos' army, <laughs> yeah. ready to die for Earth, and made him worthy. But but <laughs> what actually made him worthy, in my opinion, is that he was 
unwilling to sign the accords. You think that that's what made him worthy? Because, See, I sided with Stark. I think Stark was right. But here's here's why I think Cap was right because the, the we're gonna have a Stark, civil war right like, now. Like, <laughs> but Stark Stark was like, yeah, because I'm gonna sign these. But like, if I have to break the rule, my word isn't as strong as Cap's. Cap's word is everything to him. Yeah. So when he says, "I'm not gonna sign these," uh, I'm gonna stand up for what's right, not what I'm told to do. And in Avengers and Captain uh, America Winter Soldier, he's still, and even Ultron, he's still just kind of doing what he, like, there's still people above him. I don't think. And then, and then he walks away from all that and says, no, I'm the man now in Civil War where he's like, I'm only going to do what I think is right. I, and I'm not going to let other people tell me what is right and what's wrong. But I don't think that that's what made him unworthy. The, the fact no, that he, no, there wasn't that. That's not what made him unworthy. But what made him unworthy was the. Well, it, it kind of did because it made him. He wasn't. He wasn't I, himself. I think Cap's biggest sin of the MCU was not telling Tony that Bucky killed his parents. Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing. And yeah, keeping that that's, secret. That's a pretty big secret. That yeah. that was big. Yeah. Like if you knew. Yeah. If you knew, for example, I don't know, Cody killed my parents, <laughs> or or somebody, yeah. and you didn't tell me, I'd forgive Cody, but I'd be really be pissed you. Yeah. that you knew. Yeah. And you didn't, didn't fucking say, say anything. All right. All right, we got to wrap this up. We've been going for a long time. Oh, oh you guys, we like this now. Hours. Yeah. I know. We could. We could keep going. Let's just turn this into a Marvel podcast. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> but no, that is a good thing. I think I think Kevin Smith should absolutely be the Kevin Feige of uh, yeah of DC for sure. Yeah, there's nobody that they can get better. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for checking out this episode. Uh, make sure you tell your friends and family and everybody you know to to listen to the Bill Squire Show. I'm Bill Squire on social media. Uh, you guys got anything you want to plug? Tommy OC. Fansly, only fans, fans everything. Fansly, only fans. Go check me out at uh, Weekly Humorist and go follow Weekly Humorist. Yep. And uh, that's all. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.